everybody, welcome. Diana Skates here with you from Restore VR Therapy. I have a surprise for you today. I have a very good friend of mine, Fabiano, and we're gonna talk about something that is gonna boost your immune system. I'm gonna let him go through everything, and let's go from there, Fabiano. Thank you for the invitation, Diana. I'm so glad to be here. My name is Fabiano, I'm a forest engineer. I have 20 years experience working with plants, and today I'm here to teach you how to do uh, this beautiful vegetable project. And today I'm gonna teach you how to plant four vegetable herbs to help you to boost your immune system. So let's go, come on. Let's go. So Fabiano, you said that you have four herbs yes. that will boost our immune system. So sure. what is the first one that you want to present to us today? The first one that I want to present is called Italian herb, Italian parsley. It's a very good herb, well known all over the world. It has four benefits. The first one is to prevent cancer. That's very good. I yeah. can tell you that's good because I have been a, a former cancer patient and that's a very good information that uh, we can carry on. Wow. So you said four. Yeah. That's the first one. What is the second? The second one prevents cold because it has a lot, a, a big amount of vitamin C. That's excellent. And what is the third one? The third one, people that has anemia, oh, is anemia. very good because it has a, a a very good amount of iron, iron. Oh, and good. acid folate. That's awesome. That's very good. So probably. Uh, woman that is pregnant as well because they need acid folic that's awesome and the fourth the fourth one is um diabetes, diabetes. people that has you know problem with diabetes is very good the, even the tea or you the leaves you know you can use in a vegetable so, salad so tea is good tea is very good so the tea we're gonna do with the dry leaves dry leaves so tea with the dry leaves. So that's a very good information. This is our first one. Let's go to the next one. Perfect. Okay, we heard the first one, first herb. Now let's see what Fabiano has for us in terms of the second herb that we're gonna put together today. The Which second one? one that I chose is called Greek oregano. Good. Which is good for pizza, right? Awesome. I love it. I love it. Pizza and pasta, even though I don't eat a lot because of the calories, but it's good. Besides that, it has benefits for your immune system, okay? And which are they? Uh, first one is good for cancer, like parsley. Good. Second one it has is good for uh, cold mm -hmm. and has three vitamins, A, B, and C. Beside that has a K. You remember okay. talking about K? Yes. Vitamin K is very good for against cancer. So that's very important to know. I yeah. didn't know that oregano has vitamin K. That's yeah. good. And the last one that I, ch you, you, I would say is good for your liver. It has like for digestion too. For the digest system. Yeah, digestive system. That's awesome. So if you have oregano, on your house so make sure you eat that and we eat fresh or dry let's go to the third herb well now we're gonna hear about the third herb so what do you have to tell us about the third herb that is good for the improve the immune system this one is called rosemary it has a great smell oh, And it's good for against uh, stress because it has an uh, antioxidant action that prevents Alzheimer's disease. Wow, that's awesome. Very good. It's good for your liver and it's good against diabetes as well. That's very nice. And I'm sure we can use uh, rosemary, at least I do use rosemary on, on fish, on lamb. And even in pasta, right? It's we amazing. use it. It's amazing. And I think the smell, the aroma of uh, rosemary can help activate something in your brain and everything else can calm you. That's right. And probably that's one of the reasons that it's good for against stress. Am I correct? You're totally correct. That's good. Let's go for the fourth herb. 
Okay, now is the fourth herb. So, Fabiano, what is the fourth herb that you have for it? The fourth herb is called spearmint. Oh, nice. It contains menthol. Menthol. Oh, menthol is the same one that we have in that uh, drops that we go to the supermarket. This is good for the breath and you put it in your mouth. Very something. good. Yeah, yes. okay, good. What else? Plus, decrease coughing. Coughing, that's very nice. Decrease sore throat. Sore throat. And it helps to prevent uh, asthma. Oh, that's very nice. So, all the the airways, the lung airways, probably there is an effect on that. Am I correct? Yes. Totally correct. Totally correct. That's very good. So now, guys, the next step is gonna be put all these herbs together in a pot. So let's go to the next part. Okay, <coughs> now is the material phase. So uh, I asked Fabiano to put together here separately and tell us what is the materials that we need to put together this beautiful vase with herbs that is gonna boost your immune system, all right? So I encourage you, if you have time, follow us and put together all these materials and all the next step that is gonna, he's gonna teach us and we can do this together. So Fabiana, what is the material that we need to put this face to increase the immune system? Well, Diana, to finish this project, we need rock to put in okay, the bottle. Okay, so many rocks. Yeah, many to rocks to put in the bottle to help the drainage. To drainage the yeah, water. Yeah, drainage. Excellent. Second one would be regular soil. Okay. I recommend the miracle Grow, but you can buy any other brand. Okay, so easy to find, whatever easy. market. Very good. Okay. The third one will be the herbs, the four herbs. herbs that I presented before. Yes, all the, the nice herbs, beautiful herbs that we have, so we can put there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have, it's, this is called red mulch. Mm -hmm. It's so good for decoration. Right. And right. It, ha it helps to um, retain moisture. Retain monster, I love that, it, and it's good for decoration as well. Something else? Yeah, the no, last material is the food. Okay. Food plant, food you know, plant. fertilizer. All right, fertilizer. This fertilizer that I chose is called uh, Osmocote. Okay. And it's good because it has a lot of um, nutrients on it. Oh, well, that's very good. So we're gonna put this on the vase. It's on gonna top, help yes. on top of the vase. Okay, that's very nice. So <laughs> next step now is how he's gonna put all this together so we can see our beautiful vase ready. Okay? So stay with us. Okay, now we're gonna assemble this vase that's gonna boost your immune system. So Fabiano, what is the first step? Let's go back. What is the first step in practical? What we need to do? Well, Diana, the first step is going to put, like I said before, yeah. put the rocks in the bottle. So let's, let's do, do the practical. Let's do it. And this is for the drainage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's going to help the drainage. Very good. Very good. Let's go to the second one. So now it's going to be the second step. So what is the second step? The second step, Diana, is put the soil okay. inside the vase. Let's do it. Put everything, fill up the vase, mix it up. That's very good. Awesome. Okay, next step now is put the herbs inside of the vase. So we have all the the, the, soil, the inside. soil inside. Lever it out. Lever it out. Can you show us? The yeah. Room? Make yeah. sure you don't put too much. Yeah. Nice. So if you put too much, when you water, the water go out. So make sure you put in a nice level like I'm doing here. Right. Look. Don't put too high, not too low. Same level. Same level. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna put first all one. the herbs. The first yes. one. Second Place one. Them. Nice. Mm -hmm. Take this out. Third one. And now the oregano is the fourth one. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, very nice. Okay, now we're just gonna level up after the mulch, right? Mm -hmm. That's nice. 
smells great, huh? It smells great. Smells great. Rosemary smells awesome. I love it. Nice. So it's it's level all set. All set. Okay. Next and last. Next step. One. Okay, the next step now is the mulch, right? Yes. Okay. Why are we going to put the mulch? Tell us about it. Just remind us. Uh, for two reasons. Okay. Uh, first, the decoration. It looks pretty nice. The yes, red, you know. Yes, I like that. And then to keep the moisture. To keep the moisture. Okay. We just started. Let's finalize that. Fabian has a green tongue, so... <laughs> we try. <laughs> All set. Okay, Fabian, now is the next step. Actually, the last, last step. step. So, what do you have for us the last step? Last step, we have the fertilizer called Osmocote. Right. Okay, this is a very good uh, fertilizer. It has 11 essential nutrients. Wow. NPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Nice. Plus the micronutrients okay. that the plant needs to grow well. So, how long do I have to put... Uh, this fertilizer. This is a slow release fertilizer. That means y every three months. Every three months, yes. I have to just uh, put. So show us how to do it. Okay, sure. Okay, Fabiano. Tell us a little bit about how or how much water we can put on the plants. Well, water is very important. Without water, no life, right? That's so, right. Um, in the beginning, you can water every other day or as needed. Make sure if you want to know how much water you need, you can stick your finger inside the pot, the vase, mm -hmm. and if it's dry, you make sure you you soak, soak with right. water. Otherwise, just let it go because too much water can get fungus, which is a disease. So, uh, this is basically what we have to do. To the water. Okay, that's very nice. So, if you are interested in contact or have somebody to help you put together a kit, a vase like that, to boost your immune system, I recommend my friend Fabiano and his company and we're gonna put his information on this video or on the description of this video as well